What is going on guys? It's Jamie. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing okay. Once again, the weekend has rolled back around. It's Saturday today and I'm actually waiting outside the gym at the minute, but not for the usual reasons. And today is going to be a very different but exciting video uh, compared to usual because we're actually going on a foot. There he is now. You guys may have heard of Luke Pyatt. He is a guy that trains here at Fortitude. He is an absolutely insane photographer slash videographer. We're actually going on a photo shoot with Luke, uh, like a lifestyle shoot, not in the gym not in like a studio but locations that he has around Ipswich so very very excited it's the first time I've ever done anything like that should be a good one guys stay tuned for some fun what's up, bro? here he is what's up man what's up how you doing good you yeah good man do you want to explain a little bit um basically um a freelance photographer videographer um, based in Ipswich, Suffolk, work at a media agency, creative agency, um, and do this on the side. So we're now off to the first location. Um, yeah. Hopefully we won't get kicked out. So I know that a lot of you guys are going to be camera geeks watching this. So Luke has got an absolutely ridiculous setup. So I'm going to get him to run you guys. Really? So I'm going to get Luke to explain to you guys a little bit just about what he's going to be shooting with today and running through some of his gear. So today I'm shooting on the 5D uh, Mark IV. I've got the newer battery grip on there so I don't run out of battery halfway through a shoot. We're going to be focusing on using the 24 to 70. Uh, this is a 2.8. Um, so yeah, should get some nice depth of field with that in here. Another one of my go-tos is the 50mm 1.4. Uh, really good all-round lens for both photos and video. And then I've also got my 24 1.4 uh, Sigma Art. Uh, again, really good wide, brilliant for video. Uh, but yeah, today, like I said, it's going to be the 24 to 70. So I've actually got like four or five t-shirts with me. Uh, I think we're going to be shooting for like an hour or so. So with trying to just basically get new content for Inst... Jeez. Just trying to basically get more content for my Instagram page. So don't want to be dressed in the same thing, obviously. So I'm going to make my first outfit change right now. So the first location today is actually the train station in Ipswich and it's a really good location because it's quite industrial, there's a lot of steel and stuff like that but there's little spats of colour here and there. Luke is definitely going to kill this, we're going to get some good shots, let's get to it. Down here maybe looking down, I'll probably stand up or something but I'll probably do that maybe last because I know a camera will be pointing at us. So. <laughs> oh that yeah. one there. I don't know, is that, a, is that a 62 That's not a camera is it? Oh, oh it is, it is, it is. Okay, yeah. okay I probably shouldn't put my camera <laughs> Alright guys, so we spent like actually over an hour at that first location. Luke is like just keeps seeing all these like epic little spots. Um, got some really, really nice shots. Uh, we're actually heading back towards the gym now and there's a couple of other locations that Luke just wants to check out. One of which we literally just saw like as we were leaving as well. Yeah, that's the spot I was thinking like there's oh, a bit there, oh, okay, but I don't nice. know. Light doesn't look as good yeah. as it, it normally should, so I don't know. Okay guys, so we are starting to wrap up with this shoot now. Uh, this location actually turned out to be way better than uh, Luke thought it would be. Really good light coming through behind us. But yeah, as I said, we are now wrapping up. Gonna head back towards the gym soon. It's been a really good shoot, man. Yeah, it's been really good. Cool, been man. successful. Yeah, really good shots, for sure. I'm gonna start editing this video to you guys. Would have been last week, so I don't know. But how many shots did you get? How many shots did I get? Um, did yeah, I got close to 400. Okay, so, so I've been shooting for like an hour and a half. <laughs> Got close to 400 shots. That's the kind of photography I need in my life. <laughs> yeah. That's sick. That was really good fun, bro. Yeah, it was really good, man. We got some good good shots. Yeah, I'm actually... hanging there. <laughs> you did. <laughs> this, yeah. Guys, definitely keep an eye on my Instagram because posts are going to be dropping like crazy uh, when I get these shots back. Definitely check out Luke. Going to drop, as I said earlier, load of stuff in the description. Really, really good, especially if you're in the Ipswich or like Suffolk area as well. Check him out. Crazy, crazy talent. Appreciate it. Cheers. Thanks a lot, man. No worries, bro.
Pause the vlog right there guys, I'm just going to hop in very quickly and say really hope you've enjoyed the first half of this video but we're going to hop back in time because I have some footage that was going to be in a video a couple of weeks ago that I actually forgot about and haven't actually edited into a video which was going to be about a race to a 100 kilo OHP that Carl and I are doing at the minute but as I said, forgot about the footage, haven't put it in a vlog, so you guys are gonna see it right now. Guys, I really hope you enjoy it. We're gonna hop right into it in just a second where you joined me on a boiling hot Saturday morning a few weeks ago. It's a push SE day for me, shoulder emphasis. Uh, we're gonna be going to the gym very shortly to hit what should be a very solid session. Guys, we are in the middle of a race. Kyle and I have got a little competition going on at the minute. You know that we love a bit of competitiveness in the gym, but I'll explain this to you guys a little bit more uh, before we train a little bit later in the video. So stay tuned for what should be a very solid shoulder session. First thing to tick off today though is my logbook. My Bible for training is full. Finished it the other day at the end of a push chest emphasis session. So yeah, flicked through the last pages, very emotional time for me. My first session in that book was the 1st of January this year. So I've been logging every single session since then. And now it's done. So we're at Sainsbury's now, and I'm gonna go and grab a new logbook. Please scan it now. Mission accomplished, let's get to the gym. Alright guys, so I'm going to bring you up to speed with this little race that Kyle and I have got going on. So, in one of my training blocks a while ago, seated overhead barbell press was my compound movement for shoulders, which I hit very well uh, and progressively overloaded for a long while, but I took it out and then replaced it with a seated dumbbell overhead press instead. But recently, you may know, at Larry Wheels on Instagram, he is a powerlifter, like massive all-round absolute beast and he uploaded a seated OHP which I think was 140 for like reps. So I tagged Kyle in that and it sparked a massive discussion that we should put the movement back into our training blocks. So since last week seated barbell overhead press is back in my training block and because it is a fairly strong movement for the both of us and we're on like a pretty level playing field we've decided to have a little race to a two plate OHP but uh, yeah we're gonna get warmed up and see <laughs> First session was last week with the movement back in, as I said. Managed to hit it for a top set of three at 80 kilos, and then we hit three back off sets of 10 at 60. The last time it was in my training block, I barely got 80 for one, uh, and it was like a grinder. So, very, very good place to start. We're gonna see what we can get today. Might even go for a single. Uh So we have just worked up to 80 kilos. That actually moved very smooth. So I'm feeling good, guys. I'm gonna go for a single today. I know it's kind of pointless, but the only reason I wanna do it really is to see exactly where we stand going into this road to two plate. We're gonna jump straight up to 90 first. Let's see if we can move it. God damn it, man. I am so fucking pissed off right now. I just watched it back. It felt close. Just watched it back. It's literally like that far. Like, I'm going for that again. There's no way I'm going to stop there. I know that's probably like fatigued me quite a lot now, but I've got to get that. That was way too close to not try that again. So we're going to have a nice rest and then we're going to hit it. I'm going to get properly, properly amped up. I felt good though. I was in a good headspace going into that. Um, I was actually quite confident. Looking at it, watching it back, Looks like I'm gonna push through, so we're going again, we're gonna go all in. Alright oh, guys, so I was optimistic, I didn't get it. I haven't actually watched that second one back yet, but it felt like it got stuck in the same place. It just can't seem to get it past that sticking point like right here, so... Fuck. Okay. 
actually a little bit annoyed, but it doesn't matter because it gives us like a good place to be uh, going into this little road to two plate thing. So we're going to drop it down now, hit some back off sets at 70 this week, hopefully for sets of six reps. So let's get to it. and dusted guys we just wrapped up the session very good session really across the board slightly quicker than i would have liked because i suck at timekeeping but it doesn't matter we're all done now so we're gonna go home now get some food in and i'll catch up with you guys later all right guys so here we are back in present day and currently neither of us have still hit that 100 kilo press i actually screwed up my right elbow uh, and didn't ohp for like one or two weeks uh, but managed to get back into it this week as my elbow is all healed up now uh, but yeah, Kyle still hasn't hit it to my knowledge, so I'm going to be sure to keep you guys updated with this as we carry it on. But guys, I am going to leave this video here. Really, really hope you've enjoyed it. Be sure to let me know down in the comments what you thought of that photo shoot. Hit that thumbs up button if you did enjoy the video. And as always, subscribe if you are not already. At the time of upload for this video, Lucy and I are five days away from going to New York. So make sure you subscribe to the channel for some epic, epic content coming your way very soon. Guys, I will see you in the next one.